So we start with the concept of the partial sums. And uh, let's, um, let me explain what I mean by a partial sum. So, for instance, if we look at any um, sequence, um, any sequence, for instance, k equals 1 to k equals infinity. So we're looking at this, say, for instance, this infinite sequence of um, terms a k, where the k kth term is a k. Now, if we were to generate a sum, uh, a series uh, from this, essentially, um, we can think of it as um, basically uh, the, as follows, a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus dot dot dot. So we have the, so this infinite series we generate from the sequence of terms a1, a2 plus a up to an plus so on and so forth. Now, if we think about this as basically defining a sum S1 as the first term A1. And let's say S2, okay, let's say S2 is the sum of the first two terms. So it's A1 plus A2, which is really the same as S1 plus A2. So then S3 would be, of course, A1 plus A2 plus a3, sum to the three terms, the first three terms, which is essentially just, really, if you think about it, it's just s2, okay, plus a3. And in the same way, we can go down this list and get to sn, which appears to be, of course, um, well, officially it's, or formally, it's just this sum. But using this, this idea, we can write it as sn minus 1 plus a n. So basically it's a sum to the n minus 1th term, okay, which is this s minus 1 and the next term, okay. Now these s's basically are a sequence. We can think of them as a sequence of terms and therefore so we can say that we have uh, a sequence here s1, s2, s3, Sn, and so on, up to infinity. Now, if we can show that this sequence, which is the, these are all partial sums. These are basically, these S's are the partial sums. So if these partial sums, the sequence of partial sums is convergent, then we can, we, we will, it would mean that the, the series uh, of which these partial sums, or, or to which these partial sums belong, is in fact uh, converging to that sum. So if th this is a convergent series, and it's suppose it converges to, okay, if it were to do that, I mean, what would converge? What, what I'm saying is that if we were to test this as a sequence, we've just done sequences. So Sn, essentially, okay, is what I'm talking about. And if this is equal to S, then this S, Obviously, it's a convergent sequence, but what is this S representing? It represents the partial sum. It represents, in fact, the entire, entire series, okay? It represents the entire series. And what we can say is that if, this, if it's converging to this sum, that means the series is converging to that sum. So in other words, um, in other words um, what we started with would be the series k equals 1 to infinity, and, it's a, and of course, it's a convergent uh, series. So let's look at a particular series, how we would study it under this sort of um, a criteria. So, okay, 1 over 2 to the power k, k equals 1 to infinity. Let's see what we can say about this particular series. So if we were to break this up into the, into the same concept as a partial sum, then um, the way we had it was that the nth term, or, or if we start with the first term, say S1, S1 is going to be 1 over 2, S2 is going, going to be 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4, okay, which is 3 fourths, S3 is in fact 3 over 4 plus 1 over 2 cubed, which is 8, so it's equal to 7 eighths, and so on, S4, S4 is going to be 7 eighths, 
plus 1 over 2 to the 4, which is 1 16th. So it's equal to 15 over 16. Now it's interesting, it's interesting that if you notice, we can break this up as follows. The S1 is basically 1 minus 1 over 2. S2 is 1 minus 1 over 2 squared. S3 is in fact 1 minus 1 over 2 cubed, which means I have my Sn now, which is 1 minus 1 over 2 to the n. So the challenge is to find this nth, this nth term, this one here. Now once I have the nth term, 1 minus 1 over 2 to the n, I can actually calculate the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 minus 2 over n. And as n goes to infinity, that clearly goes to 1, which means that the series k equals 1 to inf infinity, 1 over 2k is in fact equal to 1, and it is a convergent series. It converges, it converges to 1. So this is a way where you can use partial sums to study the series in, in, like a, in the form of a sequence of sums, and then see what happens uh, as n goes to infinity to that sequence, and if it does converge, that means the series also converges uh, to that value.